talk a little bit about upcycling now. You know, it's a topic that we visit again and again on the show because number one, it's it's very on vogue, but number two, it's very it's ecologically friendly it is. to take something old and make something new of it. We consume a lot, we throw out a lot. A lot of these things can be used. And you know, one person's trash can be another person's treasure. treasure. And we all know that. that you are all about mining through the trash <laughs> to find that With treasure. With my wellies and in That's the dumpsters, right. whatever it takes for style, right. I will sacrifice. So you do an upcycling challenge every year, and upcycling is essentially taking something and instead giving of it recycling life. it, you give it new life. Absolutely. Uh, so this is the second year, actually, of the Toronto Fall Home Show where they're doing an upcycle challenge. Yeah. Uh, this year, they've done a bit of a spin on it. They've partnered, as they did last year, with Habitat for Humanity, but both are celebrating the Home Show and Habitat are celebrating their 25th year in Toronto. Oh, amazing. So for this challenge, what they've done, they've called it the, the Upcycle Challenge Unhinged uh -huh. because Habitat's really known for having a lot of doors and windows. So there's 25 designers, designers, bloggers, style gurus, and each of us got a door. We got to go and pick our own door. Okay. And we have to essentially MacGyver it into whatever we want yeah. and just be creative. But I approach it as still being kind of practical as well because doors are big. And if someone's going to bid on these items, which they're all going up for auction to raise money for Habitat, it mm -hmm. needs to have a functional purpose in this I space agree. as well. So what function did you pick? Well, you know, I like a nice glass of wine now and then, and everybody needs a place to store the bottles. So I had this giant, big, solid, heavy as anything door. Yeah. Uh, we actually have a before shot of it. Um, it was painted navy. It honestly is probably a hundred pounds almost, and I'm not really exaggerating. It's very heavy, it's heavy. And, and yes, very difficult to work with. Yeah. So I chopped it in half. So right away the size was very manageable. And I basically painted it, and you can see my after over here, that I have a little wine, wine rack, rack for it. Yeah, so it does serve a, a practical purpose, but it can fold up. It's basically taking a, a take on a traditional riddling rack. Very that, cool. That so self-standing. Self-standing. You can like a piece fold of it up and put it away, nice. tuck it away. If, if you don't want to use it, lean it up in a closet. Yeah. But then if you are a collector of wine, it's it's a great piece to have out to house everything. This one holds 32 bottles of wine Ooh, on both bad. sides. Yeah, so you can see actually I've done a bit of a paint finish, which I'm going to show you because traditionally they're solid wood. This one, because it was painted, I had some limitations. But yeah. I have a smaller spin on the project. These were some old pine shelves that I had in my garage from a utility rack. And you could also do this smaller scale. So to show you how I did it, um, I've got actually this one here too, if you want to lift that up. You can make one even just to sit on your countertop. Okay. And really all you need to do is prime it and paint it, and then you're going to hinge right at the top. So I just picked up some Stanley hinges from Home Depot yeah. that uh, you want to screw in obviously from the inside to conceal them. And how I achieved the holes, you can buy these holes right here. So you can see I have two done. You want to measure them, obviously, evenly. And I have one started. It's just a really simple attachment that goes right into your drill. Perfect. So this one is a one and a half inch, which I found was perfect to hold the wine bottle nice and stable in there. Mm -hmm. And then obviously once you build that A-frame, you want to use some sort of chain. So this is just really simple chain, again, that I picked up from Home Depot. If you've got pliers or a metal snip at home, it, yep. you can cut through really easily so you don't need to worry about measuring before you get home to do your project. You can cut on site instead of having to worry about doing it at the store. And you can construct your own. I actually really love the idea of making a smaller version for a kitchen counter because not everyone That's has the built-in wine racks, right? right? So you can make a much smaller version. So it did require a little bit of elbow grease to get it to a presentable state because, yeah. you know, as we talked about, junk turning into treasure. So obviously it sanding it, priming it, a lot of wood filler was needed for cracks. You have to think about when you're working with a door, you have hinge holes right. and you've got doorknob hole cutouts. So using some screening and some drywall compound can mm -hmm. fill that in really easily and then just give it a nice smooth sand down. So this is kind of replicating the finish. I okay. actually used a trim paint on it in a color called White Dove. And then because the Riddling racks, as I said, are traditionally solid wood, I just figured I'd take do a whimsical take on it and I picked up this faux bois, which is my cool. fancy way of saying fake wood, stencil <laughs> from Cutting Edge Stencils. And I just used some gold craft paint. So as I've stenciled, stenciled many times on the show, I've just put some low tack spray adhesive right on here so it sticks basically like a post-it note without leaving any residue mm -hmm. so we're gonna slide this down and then 
taking some craft paint. So this is again just gold craft paint that I picked up from Michaels. I like the fact that you did gold. You know what? You blinked out it's, your wood. I'm thinking you have to think about the purpose of and where it might go. And I was thinking a dining room, and a dining room's a little more formal and elegant. Yeah. And I just thought that a little bit of trendy gold, it's on trend at the moment, with the white, it was really crisp and beautiful. So let me roll some of this out. And as you can see, it's just this easy to you achieve so kind much of fun. fun shopping for these stencils honestly you've got so many good ones there's too many out there not yeah. enough walls in the world <laughs> for all of the stencils and we can peel this away and voila you can look see kind of that folk that it's fun it kind of has that 80s wood paneling look which i really love <laughs> which is yeah you were looking for exactly i love that okay i'm gonna get you to hold yes, this yes thank you good project and good luck to you and either thank way you. you guys are raising money for it's habitat for great so cause. that's great you got it